Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. I just want to share with you some things that I've been working on um, these past few days. So I've been trying to get my um, craft room organized, um, especially my dies, my um, thin, thin dies. Uh, I have accumulated a lot, so I really needed to get them organized. I didn't like the storage system that I had uh, previously. So um, this is my china cabinet. And I have all my pretties in there, like things that have been gifted to me and swaps and stuff. And then here, you might recognize a few items there. Um, so, and then here's another corner. And that's the paper that I need to shred. <laughs> so anyways, um, down in the bottom, uh, I had tons of magazines and yellow pages, you know, phone, phone books, so that they give out, well, they used to give out, they don't do that anymore. But um, like yellow pages, magazines, my notes and all that, I just had both of those drawers full of junk. So um, I'm thinking, okay, I need to buy another storage unit, you know, uh, like a filing cabinet after seeing Tamika's um, uh, Scrap the World here on YouTube, she had altered two file cabinets for her craft room, beautiful. I wanted to do the same thing. After I brought it in, didn't work out. So I emptied out those two drawers and um, this one is completely empty. So I don't know what to put in there, but I'll, I know I probably put some papers and stuff in there. And then here I have this drawer and there I got all my dies and they're all organized. Um, I use these two shoe boxes that my husband got me at a garage sale and uh, so I put them there and I have all my dies there and they're all labeled and I tried to keep the original packaging as well on the so I'll know uh, where the dies came from some of them I purchased through these stashes either on YouTube or through uh, Facebook groups and some of them didn't come with packaging so um, I labeled them and then here I have all my plastics like my little CD sleeves and those other longer sleeves for the longer um, dies and then these for example these little dividers um, these are actually the plastic cutting boards from Dollar Tree you get two packs so out of I'm sorry you get two um, cutting boards in a pack so out of the two you can make eight dividers if you measure it um, five and a half high and five inches wide so so yeah that's what I've been doing I've been labeling and taking everything out of the original packaging putting it in magnet sheets if I needed it to and and then just I put it like in alphabetical order I need to fix this here but like for example this is animals that's like butterflies birds bunny rabbits whatever that's animal related I put it there and I really like this one over here um here <laughs> okay here since I'm really into Maggie Holmes so I put Maggie Holmes so here I have like the ballerina from Spellbinders. This is from AC Moore. And then um, this one I just got from the Expo. This one, I don't remember where I got it from. I think it was from a D-Stash. This one is Maggie Holmes as well. This one I just purchased from the Expo. And then this one is from um, Spellbinders. Just because of the deer, I put it in Maggie Holmes inspired. And then of course, here's the swan and the houses so yeah so that's my uh, maggie holmes inspired um how you call it uh section <laughs> so and then here um i had spray painted this this used to be green and um, i will insert a picture now okay so if you've seen the picture you saw that i had like a, a box here and inside the box, in one of the inside the box, I had one of these baskets, and then on top of it, I had this basket and those dies. I removed the box. I took all the drawers, spray painted all of this. I spray painted it, and then I put everything back because I just wanted. I green was like an eyesore, and it, my room is like mostly white, this color. So that's why I um, spray painted it white. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. And then I took out the box and then all of my um, dies that 
didn't fit in the drawer since I really don't want to use the second drawer for more dies. I just put it here in this basket. And um, because these are bigger, they're, they're kind of too tall, they don't fit. So yeah, so those are my dies that I have there. And then these are my longer ones. And these are not all the dies I have. I have like a lot of big dies from Sizzix. And those I actually have it in a bigger container in my one of my craft room closets. So um, one of my closets. So, but it's just so, too much too, and too heavy to keep out here. So yeah, so that's what I've been working over the weekend. And uh, I'm very excited on how this looks now. Looks a lot more organized. And now I just need to finish the rest of my room. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.